Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 163, NASDAQ off 67, S&P's down 14, gold contract up $5.70, trading at 1207 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $14.69 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $74.24 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10 year note down seven ticks, 117.20. 30 year bond off 20. Forward ticks, 137.05. King dollar. King dollar down 122 ticks, trading out at 95.290. The euro is at 115.26 to 1 US dollar. The yen is out here at 113.75 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? So, we go over to the SPY first. What you're going to have out here, folks, is this. SPY right now is down a buck 15. You get 73 million shares traded. That's on the daily. We put this on the weekly. What you're going to see on the weekly is that bottom line, you're coming off the highs. You have volume off the highs. And then if you are into candlestick charting, uh, council charting, bottom line is that what you're going to see on, the, on these indices, and this is a big one, is that you're going to see that uh, bottom line is that you get a bearish engulfment at the high. And this, this one here, uh, the, 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 this is on a weekly. So what happens, folks, is that this is engulfing five weeks. The bottom line, that's, you know, a nice bearish sign. That's, that's, that's how that is shaking out. So, S&Ps, the, the SPY, you know, what you, what you have out here, we get down to 286 today. I expect the next number, next leg is going to bring you somewhere down to the 282. Right now, you're 288. NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup. Um, you got huge volume off, off the uh, high out here. And if we put that on a weekly also, you're going to see same type of setup. That uh, bottom line got up to highs. With the, the Qs just went from uh, 187, let me put it this way, to, to 178. Yeah. Uh, big volume-wise, we've done 230 million. Small caps. So the small caps led down, continue to lead down, and the small caps, I believe, are breaking everything. Yeah, the, so check this out today. The 200-day moving average is what saved the small caps today. Now, let's bring this back a bit because I want to see the last time that it actually even approached the 200-day. Okay, so let's do a year. I'll do two years. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay, one second. Hold on. I gotta put this on the I'm gonna put this on a daily though. Okay, so on a daily. First I'll put these babies up here. Okay, then bring this back two years and see what we got. Okay, so the last time that we even come close to it, that yeah, February 9th. Okay, so February, February 9th, that's when we dip down here. Now, this is going to be important. The reason it's important, folks, every time that's dipped down into these levels, uh, meaning the small cap, well, the market in general, I'm going to bring up the other ones, but bottom line is that it, it we haven't, the only, let's see, August of 2017, you broke the 200 day for all of about three or four days. And, um, then prior to that, you have to go all the way back to November of 2015. So we're talking a long period of time. Let me see how the Qs are setting up here. So the Qs right now, so they broke the 50 today. They're, they stopped at the 100, and if we go to the spies, and what you're, gonna, what you're gonna have here, this is what ends up happening, just why I'm going through it. This is when these things show up in, in boxes, folks, meaning on black boxes. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY looks like it wants to close above the 50. The 50 right now is uh, 
287.57, and we're at we're 288.05. So it's going to try to stay above that coming into the close because, we'll, you know, we'll find out if they can because what does happen uh, is that uh, if they do close below it, there's, gonna, there's plenty of traders that will pop up on this screen tonight on Monday morning. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line is that uh, gold has caught a bid this week. Um, you know, we pushing the swing point. You're pushing with volume. We've done 244,000 contracts out here today. You're 1207, and it's going to be 1218. 1218 to 1220. That's the supply line that's been sitting there for quite some time. That's the line that the gold market, each and every time up into it, has a, has not gone through. In fact, the this, this selling comes in. It's selling is pretty intense. It, it hasn't broken the lowest swing, but the sellers are there. Silver, I like the way silver's uh, sh uh, shaking out here. Silver got over the consolidation at the lows, at the, the $14.31. You're into the downdraft bar from the 15th, and you're in it pretty good. Uh, bottom line, I expect the silver next week, we're going to go to higher prices. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the 10-year note. So, 10-year note out here. I'm going to put this on the con continuous contract. TY1. Let's see. And we are at the 117.21. Bring this back a bit. And it looks to me like we're going to be in a new range. The range that I'm looking at here is about 117 to about 115. And where I'm going with that, um, even 114 and a half, is that that's the range that we were trading out here from November of, o of 08 going all the way to over to April. Actually, you can bring it all the way over to February of 2011. Yeah, so you get, you get three years. And at these levels, you do have a lot of support. That's the bottom line, because we had traded there for such a long period of time. King dollar, what do we have with king dollar out here? King dollar right now, uh, bottom line, try to get that to a high today, couldn't handle it, slightly lower. Um, King dollar has to get back inside the uh, 94, 765 in order to get in the lower range. It's still in the higher range. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 161. You get the NASDAQ off 72, S&P's off 15. Come right back.